Good morning, my name is Telma and I will be with you this week studying lesson number two of our quarterly and it's entitled The Faithful Steward. Our key text is found in Psalms 119 verse 57 and it says, Thou art my portion, O Lord. I have said that I would keep thy words. All that we possess, our mental and physical powers, all the blessings of this present life and the future life are delivered to us, stamped with the cross of Calvary. With these thoughts in mind, let's begin by studying today's topic, and it is commitment. What do Christian stewards realize about all their earthly possessions? Job chapter 1 verse 21 we read, And said, Naked came I out of my mother's womb, and naked shall I return thither. The Lord gave, and the Lord has taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. In this verse, it helps us to realize that all that we have is given to us by God. It all belongs to Him. We come to this world with nothing, and we rest from this world with nothing. All the possessions that we have came from God. And we are put in this world in the position of stewards for Him. And it's a position of dignity because He has trusted us to take care of what is His. Now, if we use all of the blessings that He's given us to our, our own pleasure and advantage, we are perverting the purpose and trust that He's given to us. Question B, why should Christian stewards be content with their earthly possessions, even if few? In Psalms verse, um, chapter 37, verse 16, Psalms 37, 16, we read, A little that a righteous man has is better than the riches of many wicked. And then Proverbs chapter 15, verse 16, repeats that and says, Better is the little with the fear of the Lord than great treasures and trouble therewith. So it is better to have little and be blessed by the Lord than to have a lot and know that we have done or gained that by wickedness or that the Lord is not with us. And then we also have First Timothy. Chapter 6, verse 8, where Paul says, And having food and raiment, let us therewith be content. So here he's reminding us what the Lord has told us. If we have food and raiment, and we are sure that the Lord is at our side, then we are better off than if we had all the riches of the world. And if we are tempted to think that being poor is a disgrace, we can be reminded that Christ came to this world, being the king of the universe, as a poor man. And so being poor is not a disgrace. Sin is a disgrace. May the Lord help us to be aware of all the blessings that he's given us today and be content with everything that he's given us. I will see you tomorrow as we continue to see what is, what are the characteristics of a faithful steward. God bless.